What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Stax. You already know why I'm here. I am here to call the game here today for the United Sim Football Association. You already know how we do. The games keep rolling each and every single week. And we got ourselves another fun ride here as we're starting to see what teams are going closer to the playoffs, which teams still need a little bit work. Maybe don't need to start their prep work a little early for next season. And we got two teams that fit in one of those uh, descriptions that I just said right there. HBV, NYM, Voyagers at Mafia, however you want to call it. But it's going to be a fun ride here as always. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to all of our various affiliates. You already know how we do. We'll bring them up at halftime. And let me just go ahead and check one thing here because I had a little bit of an issue earlier. Okay, looks like it is doing good. That is good to know. But it should be fun right here as always. We're going to get the game rolling in just a little bit. I have everything ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that play game button. And it looks like we are underway here in New York. It's going to be a fun ride here as always. The return is here. It's going to be taking that one to around the 25. New York breaking out the blackout uniform sets. Reminiscent of their uh, top hat setup that they normally go. But it's going to be a fun ride. New York looking. Going to go screenplay. Blocking up front is decent. But Trey Glock was there to meet him. Giovanni Walker only could get two out of that play. Posted up the uh, playoff probability calculator. And it has both of these teams all the way at the end. As you see a man throwing it, going to be almost picked off by Tom Creek Jr. Not to be. It's going to be third and eight coming up. As of right now, I have the New York Mafia's chances of making the playoffs less than 6%. They'll need to hope that Pittsburgh loses all the way through, and they got to make sure that they hope that Charlotte loses all the way through. So they have the worst chances currently. Looking for a man to throw it to, but Phenom Chisholm is like, I want to shoot down your chances early. That's going to be a sack. Phenom Chisholm doing it again. Definitely should be one of the players over 10 sacks when this season ends. And so far, it's looking good for Huntington Beach. They'll get the quick stop. Parky looking to get settled in, but he's going to get that punt going. Send to the X-Pac, getting a pass of 30. He's going to set up first and 10 coming. First and 10 coming up here for Huntington Beach trying to get their 10th win of the season. Here comes a quick pitch and going to be deflected. Tried the quick hitter to Jeff Brown and that's going to be incomplete there. It's going to be second down coming up. Drive continues. A lot of receivers on the front here for Huntington Beach. And they're going to pass it. Looking throws left side and caught by Jojo. Getting close to the 40. Going backwards after getting tackled. Going to make it third and three coming up. Third and three. Almost got a man off sides. They're going to fake the handoff protection solid. Looking to launch this one right side. And going to be almost picked off. Almost caught. Almost everything. And JoJo took a nasty fall trying to get that catch. And both defenses get the stop here. Going to be fourth and three coming up. There you go. 
Made one quick change, sending that one away. New York's going to get the football back. Going to get a favorable bounce as Huntington Beach rolling two to three and a half yard line. And it's going to make it first and 10. Let's talk about this New York team while I have their stuff up. Quarterback will be Cletus Castle. Halfback will be Ron Jalone, the rookie. Giovanni Walker and Gataki Dracos will be their tight ends. Wide receivers will be Cam Mello, Riker Bryston, and Charlie Baker. Kicker slash punter Jake Parkey has received a handoff. No, it's a fake looking for a man. He's getting chased in the end zone. And Phenom Chisholm is going to get sack number two. But this time, it's going to equal two points. You cannot shoot your gun with your gun on safety. And Huntington Beach is going to take the defensive score to take the lead. There was nothing that the homie Castle could do about that one. The protection did all it could. And no one was open up top. It looked like they were trying to go deep. And Huntington Beach, they'll take it. Now we're going to see the first safety punt of week number 12. Assuming there will be any more, I'm just going to throw it out there. Matt Grigsby with his first return. Actually, that's moldy cheese. My bad on that. First and 10 coming up, and we could talk about the New York defense coming onto the field. Tyree Wells at defensive tackle along with Buster Mack. Ivan Johnson will be on the outside of those two players at defensive end. Linebackers will be Daquan Blackman, Devontae Tree, Ernesto Romero the third, and Paco Pac the second. As we see Huntington Beach in a shotgun, sending JoJo in motion close to the line of scrimmage, looking for a man to throw it to, and want to overthrow Matt Grigsby crossing the field. Second and 10 coming. Cornerback is Neil Mason. Free safety is D.D. Beasley. And Cornstock will be the strong safety here in this New York team. They're trying to get something going. Gonna look for a man to throw it to. Throws a short. Gonna be caught. Turning it up the field. Rolling over a defender is Jeff Brown for his first catch of the game. It's third and one coming up. Definitely manageable here for this Huntington Beach team. Gonna hand this one off at a big hole there for Upton to get inside New York territory. Gonna make it first and ten. Cause up to no good points out where they're gonna go. They said they're gonna go forward. And Huntington Beach is gonna get the first crack in opponent's territory. Got a lot of man coverage here on this New York front. Let's see if Huntington Beach has the beater. They're going to hand it off. Looking for creases. Levante Lewis for his first touch and only going to get a yard out of it. Great play from number 20. Looks like a spot player. Second and nine coming up here. Going to be faking the handoff here, launching this left side and bump it to Jeff Brown, who walks his way out of bounds. And that'll put Huntington Beach in field goal range. What a beautiful pass there from the homie Action Jackson Jr. It's first and 10 coming. Drive continues. Going to send JoJo in motion close to the line of scrimmage. And they're going to hand it off. And looks like Ernesto Romero III was there to meet him at the line. A short game. Going to make it second and eight. Second and eight here. Approaching the halfway mark of the first quarter. Game's still young. They're going to fake the handoff to Upton. Going to launch this to Upton, and he will make the catch, holding his feet in bounds. Going to make it a third and manageable set here. We'll see what HBV can do here. Now, it'll be very imperative for New York to not give up the touchdown on this drive, but anything can happen in the game of football. So far, 
They've been getting the stops towards the third down set, but can they finish it? They almost got a pick and the bot player with the zero hands like that's just not going to get the job done. It's going to be fourth and three. We should see the field goal team for the Voyagers come out. But overall, great defense. It looked like the receiver was trying to cut under him, but he just could not find the proper positioning. And then the pass didn't really give him any help. And it's going to be a kick here from Felix to get the first official offensive points. And it is not going to happen. Felix dunks it off the right side. And the score remains two to nothing. We'll talk about the Huntington Beach team when they get back onto the field. But you'd hate to see that type of play after the solid drive. But the homies in black will get the job going, see if they can get their offense getting moving. And it's going to be looking right side. It's going to be caught and tackled immediately by Blaze Henderson. And speaking of which, we could talk about the defense now since they are on the field. Terrence Goldsberry, Thomas Noble, Gronky Kong, and Phenom Chisholm will be on the D-line. Dexter Jackson, Cliff Fallon, and Blaze Henderson, the linebackers. Cornerbacks will be X-Pac, Kaishawn Williams, and Ethan McWells holding down the slot. Looking for a man to throw it to, though. We're going to go short again. Number 77, Cliff Fallon trying to tackle him, but it's going to make it a third and short situation. Free safety will be Trey Glock, strong safety, Tom Krieg Jr. Going to make it third and one coming up. Gonna fake the handoff, looking, gonna go screen play. Beautiful blocking, but not that beautiful. Charlie Baker's gonna lose too. And great job there on the outside from Blaze Henderson. Gonna make the stop in the defense once again from his Huntington Beach team. Just immaculate. Fourth and three. Looking at a man trying to get back in position, running off from the sideline. Kick is gonna be away from Jake Parkey. We'll see the return from X-Pac looking to take pass to 15. And it looks like he'll get right around the 16 yard line or so. Did well, did all that he could on that particular play. It's first and 10 again, as we see Action Jackson Jr., the second year quarterback hit the field, along with Levante Lewis and up to no good at halfback. Wide receivers will be Moldy Cheese, JoJo Tidwell Jr., Matt Grigsby, and Vernon Mills. Fake hike, looking for the quick hitter on the run. Going to get it to his halfback, turns up a juke move and falls forward and runs through a man to get past the 30 tough nose running after the catch. That'll move the chains quick there for Huntington Beach. Tight ends here for Huntington Beach will be Jeff Brown and Ty White. The Brown and White connection doing their thing. And the kicker slash punter will be Felix Delachon. And that is going to be the setup here. For both teams, best of luck the rest of the way as the pressure trying to get home. Going to throw it to Jeff Brown, who's wide open for the first and gets close to midfield. Great job there from action to stay poised through the pressure that was coming on the opposite side. Throws a perfect pass and going to make it first and 10 here for the Voyagers. Gonna send a man in motion. That's Jeff Brown. And they're going to hand it off. There it goes up then. Trying to get the outside, but chased down. Alan Sara with the burst. And I think New York can uh, breathe a sigh of relief because if he hit that corner, I think he would have been gone. But gonna make it second and nine coming up. A weird score. Two to nothing. As Huntington Beach is trying to change that in their favor. Going to pass it again, looking for a man, takes off to run, going to throw in the run and cannot connect the dots. He tried to throw it to one of the two open receivers and couldn't find either of them. Third and nine coming. Two and a half minutes of drop back here from up. I mean, from action going to be deflected. And guess who the bot player does it again. Alan Sara making big plays like he got a, 
a user behind them updating them each week. That was a beautiful defective pass. Deflected pass. There you go. Fourth and nine coming and another stop here from New York. Interesting, interesting. Sending this one away to the right side. Bouncing at the five to the two and gonna stay again. It's a hold there by Gataki to make it worse. And that's going to take it back to the one yard line. So it's almost like he did it himself, the punter. That's going to be a nice play. And that's going to be first and 10. Will we see two straight safeties? And I believe if that was to happen, that'll be the first time in USFA history where the first two scores in any game were two was two safeties. And I don't even think that happened in the big leagues in the NFL. As we see a handoff pushing forward, finding a little bit of a crease. But it does look like Jalone does give him a little breathing room. Second and five coming. Still in game for the safety, especially if they go to the pass. The pass rush here for Huntington Beach. Best in the league. I don't think a lot of people argue if he was to say that. But they got the jumbo set. They got linemen. Linemen. They got linebackers trying to block. They send a blitz, and they're going to be a safety. And this time, it's going to be Blaze Henderson. Four to nothing, and that is the first time in USFA history where a team gets two straight safeties to start the game. Wow. And the perfectly timed blitz sends the outside linebacker over towards the homie castle and he could not find anyone to dump the ball off to that is unfortunate gonna make it another safety punt coming soon interesting sending this one away to i believe is going to be matt grigsby going to be the return actually that's going to be the homie uh moldy cheese once again to the 35 yard line and it's first and 10 again did not expect this when we got the game all set up and ready to go. It's four to nothing. Don't even know how that's even possible, but hey, here we are. Going to be passing it again. Looking right side. Going to be caught. Boxing out the defensive player. Going to be a bucket. First and ten voyages. Gain of... Getting around 15 on that play. If Neil Mason is guarding Jojo, can only imagine what the work is going to be needed to start burning on the other side. Looking for a man to throw it to and going to overthrow Matt Grigsby, who is crossing across the middle of the field. Second and 10 coming up here. A little bit of a jitters here from the passing attack haven't seen too many explosive plays but their defense doing what they're supposed to do keeping them in the game and they do have the four point lead apparently going to be faking the handoff here looking for a man to throw to takes off the run and throws in between two defenders to up to no good Devontae tree with the tackle going to make it third and four Six seconds left. Don't know if they'll hike it. I doubt they will. Might want to think about it before it goes to half. I mean, before it goes to the second quarter, they will. And let's go ahead and flip it. End of the first quarter, we have a four to nothing ball game. And we're going to look for a man on the right side. Going to be caught turning up. And I think he did pick it up. Number 37 down at the bottom of the screen was moving the as he was going and Jeff Brown's going to be the benefactor of a great play first and 10 again for the Voyagers look like he stepped out of bounds there before he crossed but the referee said he almost did I suppose I don't know gonna be interesting though gonna be faking the handoff they left tie wide open but they're gonna launch a middle of the field and deflected and look at the coverage there from I believe the bot player. Wow. The defense stepping up here is going to be second down and 10 coming up here. Going to 
on the B and this one off pushing forward it's up then dragging the man to the 35 yard line and here comes another third and short situation coming here for the Voyagers trying to get something going here as of right now New York is on a 35 to nothing streak in regards to their, this game and the game before in regards to allowing points it's not helping their cause but they're going to hand it off to Levante Lewis to pick up the first going to get to the 30 first and 10 Voyagers but as I was saying uh, New York they have yet to score a point in what appears to be five quarters and some change they're trying to make that change here I'll have to double check what happened in uh, the game before the last one but if they didn't score then that's going to be something crazy but that's going to be a flag that's coming backwards i don't know who it was on but it said it was on the center and that's going to move them backwards first and 20 coming interesting set there that's going to move them a little bit further away from the kick they missed the field goal earlier that would have got them some points Gonna fake the handoff to Upton. Protection was decent, but the pass defense is better. And it's gonna be second and 20 coming up now. Gonna be faking it again, looking for a man to throw to. Launching gun zone, and a man open is Joe. Joe did well. Jr. put the period at the end. Touchdown, Voyagers, and that was a dot. Kick is up and good. It's gonna be an 11 to nothing ball game. Didn't I, once again, not, didn't I expect this to happen? <laughs> not even gonna to lie to you, but hey, here we are. Ten minutes left in the second. Interesting set for sure. Gonna be a fun ride here in the USFA. Only gonna get bigger and better as the games go along. Still got a lot of things to cover. Got some changes coming to the league real soon. So make sure you watch out for that. As we see the kickoff coming. Going to be returned from the one yard line. Here comes Giovanni past the 20, gets to the 25 and push back. Going to make it first and 10 coming up. First and 10, New York back on the field, down two scores. Gonna look for a man to throw it to, turns around, trying to get deflected, but it looks like it's gonna be a loss of some yards there. Ran backwards to make the catch, and that's not good. Second and 12 coming. Gonna send Giovanni in motion. Gonna fake the hand off to Jalone. Pressure trying to get home. Starting to break free, but left the man open as Giovanni Walker, and that's gonna be an easy bucket there. First and ten, Mafia. Mike. 
Second and seven coming up after that handoff. Gonna make it a second and medium situation. The handoff again, pushing forward, makes it a third and short situation. Third and one coming up. Gonna be faking the handoff pressure, trying to get home. Takes off to run. Going to be deflected by X Pac. Great, great defense again. It's going to be a third, I'm uh, sorry, a fourth and short situation. Don't think they'll go for the, don't think they'll go for the uh, fourth down conversion here. They may just let it rock. And yes, they will, it will be a punt, but it could very well go for it here. We haven't seen a fake punt in a while. Doesn't look like it's going to happen here. Sending this one, going to bounce two to one and barely bounces in for the touchback number 39 was trying to chase it down but gonna make it first and ten Gonna be handoff, pushing forward a juke move, gets him close to the 30. And it's gonna be second and two coming up after that play. High formation, Ty White. I'm gonna set back and block or to throw a short to Upton who they left alone and he's gonna use that speed to get to the outside. I don't think he's gonna get touched to the 20, the 10, touch team. Voyagers getting the bucket long range. They went with the short pass, but up to no good says he's up to no good. Kick is going to be up and looks pretty good to me. Going to make it 18 to nothing. Okay. 18 to nothing is the score. A weird, weird score. All things considered, started out with two straight, uh, what's where I was about to say, two straight safeties. But nonetheless, it's a long hill that New York has to get out of now. We'll see what the homies can do after the kickoff. Sending it to the end zone for the touchback. Giovanni Walker will walk back to the huddle. They're going to try to get something going here. Passing it again. Church. I mean, that church, that's Castle throwing that one away. Could have been a lot worse. Going to make it second and 10. Second and 10, gonna fake the hand off to Jalone. He's gonna leak and he's gonna receive the catch. He's gonna try to run past the man, but looks like Trey Glock was not playing around. Gonna make the tackle, third and medium coming up. Let's 
six and a half minutes left in the second, third and five. Got the bunch. And that is the movement there from the O line. Gonna make it third and 10. Third and 10 coming up here, looking for a man to throw it to, but gonna get chased down, and it's gonna be Gronk go. Fourth and 22 coming up here, and that's gonna make a real nice move there from Huntington Beach. Fourth and 22, sending that one away. Gonna be a return there for Mex Pac, who's gonna find a little bit of a crease. Gonna make it first and ten. Gotta be a handoff and up to no good. It's gonna get taken down after a gain of one. Going to be passing this one here, middle field and caught. Spins off a man to pick up the first down. Fumbles the football, but I think he hit the ground first. So I don't think it's going to go in favor of New York. Going to be a boot review. Should be overturned. Look like his elbow hit the ground before the ball came out. And it looks like the referees shall agree with me. First and ten again. Gonna be handed off, pushing forward, getting to the 30. I'm gonna make it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Gonna be passing it, looking right side and caught. There goes Jeff Brown getting inside the 15. And this Huntington Beach offense is starting to roll a little bit. First and 10 coming. Gonna be handing this one off, looking for it. A handoff and gonna push inside the 10 is up to no good. Solid, solid gain again of seven. And it looks like three different players, including Jeff Brown and up to no good move before the snap and is going to make it second and eight now. I'm going to be passing, going to look and going to make the catch. Going to get inside the 15 while well, actually going to lose some yards there. Going to make it third and 10 coming up. And they're going to hit the two minute warning after that. Watch the whip. 
Gonna be a short drop back looking and caught reaching over Jojo and he's gonna get number two on the day touchdown Voyagers Neil Mason just cannot keep up and the last ditch effort to dive for the for the goal line gets six more points here for the Voyagers Twenty-five to nothing, and not looking very pretty for New York. Who, <laughs> technically, the game's still rolling, and they're well over a what's the where I'm looking for? Well over a three-score game at the current moment. With it being twenty-five, it would have been twenty-one, but now they're pushing towards a four <laughs> a four-possession ball game, and we haven't even clicked halftime. And if you remember last week, they already allowed 31. So it's not looking very pretty. Sending this one away to the four yard line and gonna get returned past the 25 to around the 28. There goes Giovanni Walker with another play. First and 10 coming. First and 10 looking for a man to throw to. Goes right side, gonna be caught. It hangs on to it through traffic. Gonna make it second and ten. He's celebrating like he did something special, but no. That happens every once in a blue moon here in the USF phase. Still down 25, my homie. And you got 90 seconds left. Gonna be middle of the field and caught turning it up and gonna get close to the first down mark. He might be a little short, but they may give it to him too. No, they said he's a little short, third and inches. Gonna look for a man again. That is gonna be close to the first, and he gets that last push to get him the yards needed. It's first and 10 here for New York. Still got 50 seconds left in this first half. Sending this one another pass short. Going to get past the 40 and we'll see our first timeout called. 32 seconds left in the second. Be passing it. Gonna be picked off. Coming from the outside. That's Blaze Henderson getting a run. And he's gonna get chased down and gonna get to the 24 yard line. And that is gonna be traumatic there for the homies in New York. Gonna look for a touchdown here. They're gonna go short. Gonna roll. Gets to the 20. And they'll call their first time out here. Bankton Beach well in field goal range. And if they played their cards right. They'll get 30 plus points in the half. Gonna be passing it again. Throw short. Gonna be caught. Jeff Brown rolls to the nine or maybe even the 10. And they'll call timeout numero dos. First and goal. They have one more play and one more timeout in them. So. As long as they don't do anything too crazy, they should get three. But a great defensive play there from Huntington Beach again, looking for a man to throw to. They're going to go short, turn it up. It's Jeff Brown, and he's going to get stopped at the one. I thought he pushed in, but 
Looks like that big right foot of his got to the edge and is going to be second and goal. Now, they could, in theory, run the football. I think that would be a good play, but Painton Beach, they said they already have the lead. They'll take the 28 to nothing potential lead here going into halftime. They'll get the ball back and they will succeed. Gonna make it 28 to nothing. Five seconds left in the second. After this, we'll take it to halftime, get the thing rolling for the advertisements. But so far, it's Huntington Beach is world and we're just living in it. Kicking this one away. Going to be returned from the goal line. And they will take it there. And that'll be a perfect time to talk about the homies and dubby let's go ahead and get into it you already know why we here shout out to the homies and dubby great product great community and you can get a part of that product and helping us out in the usfa by using that code on your screen usfa s8 for 10 percent off of each and every order that you choose a fun ride here great people I post the stream link every single game that we go on Twitch and YouTube over to that side to maximize what we can do here. And we want to be the official football league of Dubby. And I think in my personal opinion, no one else is doing it like us. I think we're doing a great job. Shout out to them. Also, shout out to Paladim. If you want to get your business in order from a software perspective, that is going to be the company that you're going to reach out to sign a contract and then you'll also be supporting the usfa by doing so great job from pale of them we also have all of our affiliates we got three of them shout out to the gsb right now the gold standard basketball league doing their thug fizzle trying to keep it moving to make sure that y'all know what to do when it's game time you know what i'm saying gsb doing it all the way through also shout out to the ecfl who's currently having a game. Uh, actually, why well, I take that back, uh, they actually just had their championship game. I got a little bit confused with the GSB, but yeah, <laughs> shout out to them. Their championship game was really, really hype. Can't wait to see the replay as well. And also shout out to the homies at Goals. Great one, Hockey League Sim. If anyone needs any help with getting their hockey game going, if you want to join a Hockey Sim League, there is no better than Goals great great community there as well and we could go ahead and get back into this gameplay man we could go ahead and get it going if you're ready but actually looks like we still have one second left here in this quarter so it'll just flicker into the third when we get back into it so this will be the final play of the second and it's going to be a drop back Looking for a man and launching in the middle of the field. Going to be almost caught and almost picked off. And that is going to close out quarter number two. And Huntington Beach should be getting the ball back. Yes, they are. Let's see what happens. Going to make it 28 to nothing. And by the looks of it, New York has allowed 59 straight points in six straight quarters. Going to make a quick jig and deflected by Neil Mason. Second and 10 coming up here for the Voyagers. Going to look for a man, throws it short. There goes the tackle right after the catch. That happening there. Going to make it third and 11. Well, we all we all 
Need to get past the 35 to keep the drive alive. They're going to pass it on the look for a man to throw it to middle of the field and overthrows Matt Grigsby, who was approaching the getting open, but not quite going to make it fourth and 11. And New York will get the stop, but their offense needs to get something going or they'll potentially be shut out in two straight games. And this game will be even more fatal as they'll pretty much wrap up their chances of making the playoffs. Going to make it first and 10 coming. Fake the handoff here. Throws it in the middle of the field and deflected. That's it. B is going to be second and 10 coming up. Second and 10 here. They're going with the pistol, faking it. Great blocking. Looking for a man right side and going to be caught by Baker. First and 10 coming up here. Nice play there from Castle. be faking the handoff again looking for a man to throw to go short gonna be caught and rolling down gonna make it second and six Gonna be hand this one off, find a little bit of a crease. Gets close to the first down mark, but not to be. Gonna make a third and one. Gonna be a rollout, rolls backwards, takes off to run, and he's gonna get chased down by that veteran, Dexter Jackson. What a movement there. He has all the speed you need, and it's gonna be fourth and two. New York thought they had a lane there, but that ain't gonna work. Will they go for it here? This wouldn't be a bad place to try it, but they're gonna elect to punt it. Looking for the pin, not going to find it. That's out the back of the end zone or out of the side of the end zone for a touchback. Be looking, sending a man in motion, passing it, gonna go short and gonna be caught by Lewis. Getting close to the first down mark, not quite past it though. Second and one here. Handoff pushing forward a little bit. A huge gain. There goes up in the pin to the 20, and he's not going to get touched for the touch. Damn. Up to no good, making a late push to try to get back in that halfback of the year race, and that is going to help him out. One field goal will make it 35. Or should I say one extra point?
35 to nothing. So New York, they've gave up 30 straight points and have yet to score one point in this ball game in the last ball game. Unfortunate state of affairs here. They need at least five scores at this point if they want to come back in this. As we see the return close to the 30 there by Walker is going to be first and 10. Handoff and runs straight into a defensive player. Not too much blocking to show for it. Only a gain of one. Going to make it second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Going to go for a man to throw it to middle field and incomplete. Nine deep drop back pressure getting home almost so he has to take off to run and throw the dot there to Devontae Tree. My back are getting into the mix. Hey, what can you say? It's first and ten coming up here. Handoff is going to be a little bit of a lane there, but once again, looks like Dexter Jackson right on the money for the tackle, a gain of three. And that's going to be a penalty right there. Move it backwards to second and 12. Looking, going to fake the handoff again. Roll out, throws a short, and he's not going to get both feet in bounds that way. That's going to be. Third and 12. Got to be looking for the pass and dot. There goes Cam Mello getting into the mix and it's going to be first and 10 coming for the Mafia. Gonna be faking the handoff pressures, getting it home, and there goes the sack. Mr. Noble making sure that sack is noble with second and 19 coming. Gonna be faking the handoff pressure almost home, but a throwing it to the outside and dragged down by Trey Glock using all of that speed. It's gonna be third and 13. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Go. 
Six. And then looks like Giovanni Walker in motion third and 13 and it's going to be a handoff and that is not going to help him out at all. Maybe they were praying for a face mask to give him a first that ain't going to work. It's going to be fourth and 15 coming in another stop here from his Huntington Beach defense who is one quarter and some change away from getting their 10th victory on the season. Long drop back here and he finally does get it off. That is going out of bounds, I believe. Not to see exactly where it is, but that looked pretty nice from where that marker was. First and 10 coming here for the Voyagers. And it is going to be marked at the one. So that was a perfect punt there from the homie Jake Parkey as they set up in the move and going to avoid a man to get past the five. You see right there up to no good. Well over 100 yards, man. He almost broke that one free. Going to be second and three coming. Another handoff coming bounces off of a man is up then and his 10th carry will get him to 120 yards going to make it first and 10. be another handoff this time is Lewis and he's going to get dragged down behind the line of scrimmage that ain't going to help him out that's going to be a loss of two deep drop back here pressure almost home but just throws this one away 20 for 32 on the day for action is going to be third and 12. Third and 12. Huntington Beach needs to get past the 22 yard line to keep the drive alive. And he's going to launch a left side and caught, reaching over and going to fall forward as Matt Grigsby. Had a lot of opportunities to get more than just one catch, but can't be mad at the results. The pass perfect. That's going to be first and 10 again. Going to be handoff and Levante Lewis once again bottled up. Going to make a second and 11. Five seconds left. Will they hike the ball or will we take it to the fourth? They will hike it right before the ends. They're going to go middle of the field and caught by the homie up then to get past the 40. And that is how quarter number three is going to end. Going to go with the reverse here. And there's going to get a few yards there. Nothing too crazy. He's going to make it second and seven now. Got to be looking, handing it off and finding a little bit of a crease. But if he had just maybe two more ticks in that uh in that acceleration i think he would have hit that hole a lot better but hey so far so good here for hankton beach they're headed to the chains and now it's third and three head to chains headed on the scoreboard the clock is on their side hbv really can't complain too much as they're looking for another player to throw it to here the pressure almost home and they almost got the pass off and that's going to be an incomplete play there new york 
They're going to be getting the football back real soon. And it's going to bounce in. It does look like it's going to be another solid bounce inside the five. But this time it's in favor of Huntington Beach. Felix with the great punt. You see him right there. He celebrated. He's, uh, he, he knew he did good. And now that'll hold him at the three. Actually make that the two. Going to be a handoff here. Finding a little bit of a hole. Avoids the hit. And going to get past the five. Second and medium coming up. Going to be doing a little bit of a different setup here for the stats. Going to be passing this one right side and caught. Turn it up. And Dexter Jackson and X Pac will meet him at the gate to prevent any more run yards after the catch. And it's going to be first and 10 again for New York. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any more screenshots. I'm just going to make sure that I show everything off in regards to the statistics, make it easier for the people uh, to actually get everything going. As we see another movement there from the homie. Giovanni Walker looking is going to get the catch going to push forward and I think he reached out for the first the referee said he got it first and 10 New York he barely got it but barely is enough barely is better than almost Gonna be passing it again. Look, game midfield and caught. There goes Dracos, and he almost got the first down, but a great tackle. I believe that's Dexter Jackson again. Yes, it is. Second and inches coming. Send this one away again in between two defenders and caught. Blaze Henderson and Ethan McWells catching up on the tackle. First and 10 again. Giovanni Walker, seven catches, 44 yards. And another set of downs coming here for New York, who's trying not to get shut out for the second straight game. Games have not gone in their favor recently as they go short again, but cannot hang on through contact great defense once again from Huntington Beach second and 10 coming up sending a man in motion Looking for a man to throw it to and caught, but not going anywhere after the catch. And Dexter Jackson has just been on another level. Going to make it third and eight. They got seven minutes to do something as New York, and they're closing in on midfield, but now it's third down. Going to look for a man to throw it to. Walker's open. But going to shed a man, but the other cornerback helps the first cornerbacks uh, hide right there from getting messed up. That's fourth and two. One cornerback missed the tackle and the other one cleans it up. Six and a half minutes and looks like they keeping the punt team on the field. Should be another punt. Yes, it is not trying to get any type of points by the looks of it. Bounce. And that barely gets into the end zone for a touchback. Great attempt there from Parkey, but not good enough. First and 10 again. Mike 
51. Going to be handing this one off again. Up then finding a crease. Gets to the 29 yard line. I thought he was going to hit him for some more yardage, but another huge gain there from number 18. Got to check something really quick. Give me a second. Okay, cool. cool, 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 cool. Going into the jumbo set. Gonna send Vernon in motion. Gonna pass it. Looking for a man to throw it to. Gonna find his man to the right side. There's Jeff Brown to the 35. Gonna make it first and 10 again. The clock continues to roll. Gonna be handed off, looking for a lane. Gonna push forward and get a couple yards. If he had a little bit more speed, I think he would have hit that corner, but gonna be a gain of two. Hand off, pushing forward. Getting past the first down, Mark reaching out for it, and they are going to give it to him as Upton is approaching 150 yards on the game. Going to be hand off right side, pushing forward in a big hole, reaching out again for another huge gain. New York just cannot find the juice to slow 18 down up to no good making it look easy and actually it was a little short there gain of nine but still seems like Upton's finding every which way to get five plus yards or more gotta expect the game to stay on the ground as they let the clock run a little bit and they're going to go ahead and pitch it to the outside and get sniped. So that'll lose some yards a little bit. Third and six coming up. Nice job by Paco Pac the second. Going to make it third and six. And that'll take it to the two minute warning. Huntington Beach well beyond their ways. They already secured a playoff spot. And I think we'll have to see what happens on the next game for sure. Because they'll have to play uh, St. Louis eventually. Going to be hand this one off again. Pushing forward. Going to make it third and six coming up. Fourth and one, Huntington Beach, they're keeping their offense on the field. They're going to send Vernon in motion. And they're going to pass from it. Going to go short. Going to be caught through traffic. And that drive catching save is going to be making it first and 10. Now, I think I was going with drive, save, and catch. But hey, sometimes the words get jumbled. It's first and 10 again. The homies in New York. They're not calling any timeouts. They may be conceding in this one. And this will very much be their final chance of potentially making the uh, potentially getting one last push towards the playoffs. A valiant effort on the season. They made it last year at the third seed and they were in position at the three seed again to potentially do it. But they kind of fell apart in the later portion of the season. And here they are with their second straight time being shut out. That is not going to help out with the point differential at all as they tried the outside run is Huntington Beach and that should be the final play of the game. Final score shall be 35 to nothing. 
and Huntington Beach, they've done pretty much what they've been doing all season long. Defense winning them the ball game and the offense picking up the slack where they need to. As we go ahead and get started with the stats in just a little bit. Shout out to the homies. Final score once again, 35 to nothing. You see right there, 64 and a half percent there for Action Jackson Jr. Cletus throwing 70, which is respectable, but just could not get the ball down the field. You see right here, 485 to 119. Looking a little bit further down, 16 first downs to eight. And then on the time possession, let's check that out real quick. 26 minutes, 26 and a half minutes. You see right there for Huntington Beach, a 24 point half. I mean, a 24 point quarter in the second. Good job there from them. Looking at the stats though, AJJ definitely led the way in, in the passing game. Three touchdowns, doing everything that he needs to do to get Huntington Beach to the next level. Rushing side of things. Actually, I need to check on uh, Cletus Castle. 21 for 30, 70%. Definitely worth that right there. One interception. Definitely need to tighten that up, but they need to get their offense a lot more consistent. But up to no good. Definitely the player of the game for me. His movement on the ground, eight yards a carry. Big carries all the way through a 71-yard touchdown bomb. Uh, Ron Jalone, eight for 26 on the game. And Levante Lewis, Charlie Baker, they chipping in best they can. Receiving wise, uh, we'll talk about the homies in New York first. Giovanni Walker, eight for 50. Uh, Ron Jalone, eight for 30. Charlie Baker, two for 25. Kataki Dracos, Cam Mello, and Devontae Tree each getting a, t a catch. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And here's the rest of the stats here for the homies in New York. A little bit further down, let's check on. The homies in Huntington Beach. Jeff Brown, 9 for 96. Great game from him. JoJo Tidwell Jr., 5 for 83. Two touchdowns. Up to no good. 5 for 116. One touchdown. Great job. So he's definitely player of the game for sure. Uh, 4 for 12 on the day for Levante Lewis. Matt Grigsby, 1 for 13. And you see right there, Vernon Mills blanked in this game, surprisingly. Only one drop. And didn't really get a lot of targets either, if I could recall. So I'm sure he wanted to t tighten that up going into next week. But um, looking at these uh, defensive stats here for Huntington Beach, Dexter Jackson and Trey Glock led the way with nine tackles. Blaze Henderson with seven, Cliff Allen with four, X-Pac, Goldsberry, and Chisholm all with three tackles. Looks like there's a uh, Phenom Chisholm with two sacks, uh, one sack a piece from Henderson and Jackson. And Henderson did get the interception. Uh, looks a little bit further. Dexter Jackson with a pass deflection. X Pac with the pass deflection. And then you see right there, Phenom, Chisholm, and Blaze Henderson each with the safety apiece. A little bit further down. Let's check it out. Gronk and Kong with two tackles. Noble with two. Krieg with two. McWells with one. And that's all of the users there. One sack for Gronky Kong. A little bit further down. Looks like Krieg Jr. with the pass deflection. Nothing else there. And Kaishawn Williams here, I see right here. Let's see what else he got. He got two pass deflections. Great job from him. One tackle. And that's it for that side. Here for New York, Devontae Tree leads the way with 10. Actually, I'll take that back. 10. And then uh, Paco Pac the second with six. Same thing with Beasley. And good job from those two. Cornstalk with five. Neil Mason with five. Looks like a lot of tackles for loss between uh, Tree Pack and Beasley. A little bit further down. Looks like Devontae Tree with two def uh, pass deflections. Uh, let's see. Neil Mason with two. So that's all the users there with that set. And then nothing else there. A little bit further down. Ernesto Romero the third. Four tackles. Ivan Johnson with three. Uh, Tyree Wells with three. And that's all the users there. Tackle for loss there by McWells. No sex there. A little bit further down. Doesn't look like anything else here. And then Buster Max, the sole user player left with one tackle, assisted tackle. Kicking wise, let's talk about it. You see right there, uh, Felix de la Chon, uh was one for two. Made a, 11, a 17 yarder and he missed the other one. But he was perfect on the day for extra points. Of course, no points here for the homies in New York. And looking a little bit further down, looks like it was uh, seven total kickoffs uh, and two safety kickoffs. 
And then you got two touchbacks, one apiece from Parkey. Punting wise, De La Chon with the 57 yarder and Parkey with the 54 yarder. Looks like they average somewhere around 51 yards on the punt. Kick return, uh, Giovanni Walker, Moldy Cheese doing their thing. Uh, looks like uh, between 20, between the two of them, 20, 21. And then X Pac and Gutaki Dracos, great job by them. Both of them averaging somewhere around seven or eight. And that is going to close out game number one of week number 12, folks. We still got some more games to roll out, and we got the double header coming up. So make sure you watch out for that. We're going to see if the homies in Pittsburgh can fight their way back into the mix, see if they can knock Tampa Bay back to six and six and potentially give themselves a chance to make the playoffs. If they lose this game, their chances of making it are going to be very, very slim for sure. While Tampa Bay can probably wrap up their playoff chances with the victory. So got to watch out for that. And then we'll take it to Twitch a little bit later on. Charlotte, St. Louis, definitely one of my favorite two teams going at it. It's always been banger after banger after banger. Charlotte, they're starting to catch fire here. And a win can essentially give them the chance to get back to the playoffs while St. Louis, they'll be pushing to get that number one seed locked up. So make sure you watch out for these two games. It's going to be on YouTube and on Switch. You already know how we do. Make sure you stay safe. But until then, I'll talk to you later. Ah.